Hi, my name is Nick. I'm here to give you a walk around of my 1993 Toyota pickup. I acquired this pickup about a year ago. I've put on about 10,000 miles. I did some uh, mechanical upgrades, or should I say maintenance. The truck ran flawlessly since the day I bought it. And, uh, it did not look like this though it did not look this good this is after a brand new paint job some new uh, aftermarket lights but the truck looks pretty damn good for being almost 30 years old it is a 93 made in japan the vin the vin code starts with the letter j which means it was made in japan it's got the v6 engine um let me go ahead and give you a closer look so i did swap out the turn signal lenses with some clear ones that's aftermarket i have the factory amber ones available as well, it will come with the sale. Mechanically, uh, I had a mechanic replace all the front end components, all the steering components, um, all four shocks in four corners. I've got brand new tires. These are Cooper tires. As I said, the paint is brand new. It's not the shiniest, it's not perfect. Um, I did do it myself. So I just wanted to let you know there's no rust on the body. Let me see, show you here. The seat's ripped. But the interior is in really good shape. So let me focus on the body for you. No rust here. No rust whatsoever. Cap corners, the bed, it's in really good shape. I do have some pictures for the underside as well. Should be available for you to look at. These uh, tail lights are aftermarket. I put on this myself. Looks pretty good, I think. The rear bumper has seen better days. Uh, I bought it this way. It's got some, I don't know what happened here, some dings. The bumper is a tiny bit rusty. You can replace it run you a hundred bucks a couple hundred bucks but I uh, yeah that's that's the only part where it's I mean obviously not perfect but as you can see the body is super straight I love this truck it's got plastic drop-in bed liner in here I did remove the bed liner and clean out the bed before I did the paint job. The paint is mint on the in the bed. Uh, there's no rust either, so you could do a spray and bed liner if you want. Rear win sliding window works. I replaced the latch. This uh, driver, this passenger side. Uh, door lock cylinder broke so I did replace it with a new one so you got a different key for the passenger side than the driver side chrome mirrors aftermarket I do have the factory one available uh, that will come with the sale yeah show you the frame uh, sneak peek
It's cleaner than your 2021 frame, I bet. Nah, I'm joking. Still pretty damn clean though. She is a good looking truck. I am sorry to let it go, but duty calls. I've got family, family uh, needs money. And uh, I just have to, it's time to move on. I'll show you this side as well. Now you see the red, that's a little bit of an overspray from the paint job. But frame is in really, really good shape. The wheels are American racing wheels. They came with a truck when I bought it. They are a little bit rusty. Um, they're not the worst, but they could use like a re-chrome or something like that to make them perfect. As you can see, they're pretty shiny, but if you look closely, they are, they have some rust on them, uh, which doesn't bother me, but I'm selling the truck. So if it does bother you, you might want to swap it out with some nicer wheels. But yeah, this is the, this is the truck. Let me uh, go ahead and pop the hood for you. All right, here she is in all its glory. It is a three liter V6. <clears throat> all right, some of the things I've done. So the battery is one year old. Uh, it came with the truck when I bought it. I replaced this rubber hosing. It was it had a huge hole in it. Um, over here, I replaced the airflow meter with a rebuilt one from Cardon. Uh, it works really well. Brand new cooling system, new radiator, new hoses, new coolant, um, new cap here works really well. <clears throat> uh, underneath the intake manifold, I've got new intake manifold gasket, new new um, valve cover gaskets. New uh, cap and rotor, six new spark plugs, new wires. Um, I believe that's it, guys. Nope. New power steering, uh, brand new power steering pump, new uh, belts for the power steering for AC and um, alternator new power steering hoses as well so yeah i've done a lot to this truck to make it um daily drivable and i have been dating it in the last year like i said i put on 10,000 miles um trouble free miles this baby purse like a kitten it's not fast but it will get you where you're going in style there's a little bit of a neck here <clears throat> at the front of the bumper. Not the most noticeable thing in the world, but it is there. So, plain and simple. It's got manual window, manual door locks, nothing to break. It does have tilt on the steering wheel here, so you can adjust it to your own liking. Uh, you can adjust uh, instrument uh, light, the brightness of it. It does have the cl uh, clutch start cancel. So once you put the key in the ignition, turn on the accessories, press this, you can start the truck without having your foot on the clutch. <clears throat> Seats are in good shape. Pretty clean. I like to keep my stuff really clean in here. Back here, really tiny little seats. And I don't understand what they were thinking. No one's going to be able to fit back here. But there are seats and the sliding window works great. There's a fire extinguisher here. I don't, I have never used it. It's uh, it's empty, so you're gonna have to charge it up if you wanna use it. All right, so 
that's pretty much the interior. Let me show you the center. So this is like, I don't understand why this is here, but that's just the way it is. I never bothered to replace it. Down here, a cup holder works. Somebody came up with this really creative way to hold it down. Uh, it works, so I bought it like this. I never just doesn't bother me. Um, it's gonna have some quirks. And then as you can see, all of these little knobs should have this, but we're missing three out of the four. But AC works, heat works great, time works, the clock works, and uh, you got a radio down here. It does have uh, aux, so you can plug your stuff in. The uh, cigarette lighter does not work, so if you want to charge your phone, you're out of luck. Um, and down here, there's a spot where you can store things. Glove box. I emptied it out, cleaned it up, works great. Passenger side, same thing, super simple. You got a ton of grab handles for the way this truck rides. You're gonna need plenty of those. Uh, sun visor works. I've got sun visor here, and it still has the uh, original instructions. By the way, I did also grease all of the grease fittings in this truck, so you don't have to worry about that for a while. Um, Four-wheel drive works. I got some pens up here. I'll remove those later. But yeah, it's a manual transmission. Works great. Here's a four-wheel drive. We're in too high right now. That's four, uh, four high. This was neutral. That's four low. I've never been in four low in this truck because I don't go off-roading. But that's available if you wish to try it out. So this is the truck that I'm selling. And I really hope it will go to the right home. Someone that's going to... Uh, take care of it keep it running I really would like to see this like keep going for a long time it's got plenty of miles it, uh, it hit 250,000 miles on September 10th I believe and that's when they decided to do the paint job and I think it was a good decision but once the paint job was done I said it's time for a new project so I'm moving on 250,888 miles as of this morning. So I hope you enjoyed this walk around. And um, if you're interested, start bidding. Maybe this will be your truck. And I'll see you down the road. It's about 50 degrees this morning here in Minnesota. So I want to do a quick start up for you. Um, so let's do it. got the annoying beeping like all the 90s trucks but yeah um, you see the all the gauges work 